Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the Mail Merge feature direct from Access into Word to send a report to colleagues or mailing marketing information to customers. So on the external data tab, on the right hand side there, you've got Word Merge. Now before I do it, I'm just going to open this table so you can see how many records are here? 10, 10 people, 10 customers. This has to be closed, but highlighted like that, selected. You can do it for tables, you can do it for queries, which I haven't got any queries at the moment, but whatever you want, you just have to have it selected like that. Then you click on this option and it will start the merge process for you. You've got two options here, link to an existing Word document or create a new one. Well, I'm going for the new one and then clicking OK to that. And then what it will do is open up Word and let you start the process in Word. We'll actually come to step three of a six step process in Word. If I just go into Word, it's already open at the bottom there. So this is the Word document that I'm going to use. And if I come over to the left, normally in Word, you'd start the process there, select a letter type or whatever. I'm going to go for letter. Select recipients is already done. Edit recipients, if I click on that, you can see that it's got all the people in that access table listed there, look. They're already here. So if I was doing this from Word, I would have to attach Word to access, but that process has already been done. What I can now do is use my address block feature and greeting lines feature in Word to populate the address area. So this is how I want it to look. That's how it is going to be. Click OK to that. Comes in with a bit of a code, but you can see what that code relates to by clicking this button, and it shows you it like so. So if I just come down and type dear and leave a space, because what you can also do, if you didn't want to use the address block, you can bring individual fields in. So I'm going to go for first name there. I'll do a comma, come down. Type my letter or my marketing information. How did you like? And I'm going to insert another field there just to show you that process. The city field. When you got or whatever you want to put like that. Now. I'm going to save this document. This document is not saved at the moment. This will then save the link between the two programs, Access and Word. So if I just do Control S, it will save this as main. I'll just call it main. It's going in documents, save. Close that. So I've saved it in documents and what I'm going to do now is just show you that these records are here. If I click on this arrow going to the right, you can see them flicking through. If I go to the end, that's the last record. If I go to the first one, that's the first record. So that's working. The last step is to do the actual merge. So finish and merge there. Three options. Edit individual documents, which is the one I'm going to do. Print it straight away. Send an email. So I'm, I'm not doing the email. I'm doing this one. Now, what it'll do is it'll create a page per person. So I should have a 10-page document. If I click on that. I've got the option there to filter if I want, but I'm going for everything. And then if I just go to view and multiple page view, there you can see all the documents. Now, it's up to you whether you save this. It says letters one. I'm not going to save it. I'm just going to do control W, which means close window and not saving it. Back to this. Because what I want to do is go and add an extra person in the access database in that table to see how it works. So if I come on that and just put Bob Black as a new person, and he can work for Bob IT. And he can live at one Blue Street. 
Newcastle. Any one, two, RT joined today and was formed on the 20th of August 1998. Tab. So now I've got 11 records. I'll close this down, go back into Word. Now, at the moment, because I've got this open, it's picked it up. It would have picked it up if I closed the file and then reopened it. So it is a dynamic connection that you've got there. So as soon as you add new people in the access table, it will be reflected in the Word document and therefore you can then just do the mail merge. So how this should work going forward is you would just open this document. It would ask you, in fact, I'll do it. If I do control W and save that and then just open it again. So there it is in documents. If I open it, it's asking me, do you want to ma maintain the link? Do you want to get the, the link? So I'm going to say yes to that. So if any of the records have been added, then it would have come up with that. Now, I'm not on the mail merge tab at the moment, so I'd have to go back to mailings to see all this information. But if I'd added any more people, they would be reflected up there. At the moment, they are not. Back to the first one. But the link is maintained. So that's all I want to talk about on this little session, how you can use the mail merge feature in Access to directly merge documents into Word. So thank you for your time. Catch you on the next one.